Now, I can only assume that each of us here have been through healing processes in our life before. Sometimes they happen in a moment, sometimes they take weeks or months. And depending on the healing process that you've been in before, you can probably remember that there were times when you might have felt the way you are describing, stuck. Other people call it confused, other people call it <clears throat> anxious. I have a definition of burnout, which is people, people get to a point in life where they've been stretched. They've been stretched by life itself. Their experiences, whether at home, at work, in their social circles, in terms of spiritual, personal development, whatever the case may be, their experiences get them to a point where they've had an awakening of sorts. They've realized something, plain and simple. They've just realized something about themselves, about their life situation. And that realization opens a can of worms. It just sort of gives them ideas. It gives them a perspective about themselves and life and what they need to do. So a particular experience or set of experiences leads to a certain kind of a realization for the individual. And then, you cannot turn back. The realization gives you a sign of what you need to do, what you should be doing in that area of your life or that might be your life as a whole. And those people who can't for any reason rise to the occasion and go, I got it, I'm doing it right now, what's my next smallest step? Those people who go, no, I'm going to remain tight in the bud. I'm going to remain in this hamster wheel. I'm going to stick around in this golden cage a little bit longer. It's a good cage, gold, <laughs> but it's still a cage. Those people who refuse to acknowledge the sign that they've gotten, and insist on sticking to the old routine, are putting themselves on the direct route to, sh to burnout. Because the mind, once stretched, cannot return to its old dimensions. And they will fight against every sign and signal that their body, their unconscious minds, and life around them, all the synchronicities, will be providing them with. They will resist it because they're going to insist on having it in an old, familiar way. They are refusing to step out into the unknown and they're refusing to embrace the new reality that life is presenting them with. And they're going, no, it's too scary. No, I'm not going there because it's unknown. It's unfamiliar territory, I'm too afraid. And therefore they make the choice to stick around and to do what they've always done or something like that. And they resist the thing that life is putting in front of them and they can't. It becomes an ongoing struggle that becomes more and more amplified. All the issues with regard to life in that wheel or in that cage just amplify. Every sign amplifies that you've got to make the change. And they can't. They're too scared. And they get to a point where they just can't cope. The pressure in the wheel or in the cage mounts to the point where they know they've got to make the change, but they just can't. They just keep pushing harder, they just keep trying harder, they lose sleep, they're working, they're struggling, they're battling through life, and they go till they can't go anymore. And they burn out. Or they just let go. You know, when we're making a breakthrough in life, we go through stages, okay? We go through stages. At a certain point, the flow that we were in the momentum we had seems to suddenly get stuck. It's the early sign that there's a change happening. We get stuck. And then when we're stuck, we get to that next stage. Because stuckness gives way to a kind of, it's almost nervousness, a kind of anxiety. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't want to be stuck. I want to get back to where I was. How am I going to do it? And we start to get sort of, <coughs> stuckness gets movement again. We go from that to this. Okay, so stuck gives way to a kind of nervousness, almost like an anxiety. Different people feel it in different ways. Okay, where we want to get out of stuckness, but we don't know how. And we don't know where it's going. And we're not even sure that we're happy with the decision that we made. Or maybe it wasn't a decision that we made because life just led us to being stuck. And now we want to get out. Or we made a decision to 
go through a process like this one now, and we got there, and now we're here. And we're sort of questioning. And then what's going to come next, and I know this because I see it over and over again, what's going to come next is we get to something else, and it's here. It's here. It's like when you get to something that's like on the verge. It comes from this, and it leads to that. And when you're like there, you're on the verge. You know something's going to happen. You're starting to sense something's about to unfold. The lights are about to come on. Something's got to happen because you just can't take this anymore. And you get to that point on the other side of it and you start to realize something's got to happen. Something's about to happen. Something must happen. Something needs to happen. You're on the edge. Maybe it's the edge of just collapsing. Or maybe it's the edge of just opening and either way is better. But you're here and then suddenly, suddenly it's like you're a little flea in the carpet. You're a little flea in the carpet and it's spring cleaning day and you're just holding on and you're like, you're on the verge and you can see that vacuum cleaner coming and it's coming and that pipe is coming towards you and it's just coming towards you and then suddenly you just get stuck right in. And I promise that when you come out the other side and you do come out the other side, there's going to be a whole new experience. I don't know how soon it's going to happen. I don't know if it'll be an immediate epiphany or one of those slow and gradual kinds where bit by bit over days and weeks maybe we realize what we've learned and how meaningful that is and how applicable it is to the person you want to become. But I do know that there is always, always a very positive outcome to that experience. And in hindsight, you'll be very glad you went through it. <laughs>